This is 3.4 uh, independent practice. And um, we're going to do 1 through 12, I think. Let's see, what are you doing on the sheet here? Independent practice, 3.4. Yeah, 1 through 12. Um, I'm going to do some of them for you. And then some I'll just give you the answers. And then if you need help, you can come see me. Okay? So like uh, this first one. 0. 0.7 times 0. 0.4. 7 times 4 is 28. Come out one. Come out another. There's two out, so i got to go two in. So my answer is 0. 0.28. Okay? 3.7 times 0.4, 7 times 4 is 28, 4 times 3 is 12, plus uh, 2 more, let's see, 12 plus 2 is 14, um, out 1, out 2, okay, then I got to go into 1, 2, so my answer is 1.48. All right, this next one, uh, 0. 0.52 times 2.1, 1. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 5 is 5, go to the next level, add my 0, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 5 is 10. When I add those up, I get 2, 9, 1, and 0, 1. Okay, then I got to go 1, 2, 3, 3 out to go 3 in, 1, 2, 3. So my answer is 1.092. And hopefully you got that same thing. If you didn't, come see me. I'd love to help you. These next three, I'm just going to give you the answers. 0.186. Um, this next one had a lot of work to it. 167.00. And the last one is 0 0.0224. Hopefully you got those correct answers. If you didn't and you just can't quite figure out how to get that answer, come see me and I'd love to help you. Let's go to number seven. A giraffe can run up to 46.93 feet per second. How far could a giraffe run in 1.8 seconds? So what I have to do there is I have to do the 46.93. That's feet per second times 1.8 seconds. Okay, and this will tell me how many feet they run. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 9 is 72, plus 2 more is 74. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 7 is 55. And then 8 times 4 is 32. 32 add 5 is 37. Add my 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 4 is 4. Okay. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 5 plus 9 is 14. Carry my 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 6 is 14. And then 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 4 more is 8. Now my decimals. My decimal is right here and right here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So in 1.8 seconds, it's going to run 84.474 feet, which makes about, which makes sense, because 46. If I do this 46 feet per second, this 1.8 is like almost two seconds. So in two seconds, it would run twice as far. So it would be like 90 feet. So a little less than two seconds is 84, which is a little less than 90. Okay? So way to do some estimating and kind of figure out, does it make sense? Let's do number nine. I'm going to get rid of this. Give me some workspace. Um, a nutrition label indicates that one serving of apple crisp oatmeal has 2.5 grams of fat. How many grams of fat are there in uh, 3.5 servings? So I have 
3.75 servings and 2.5 grams in each serving. So it's kind of a, say it's four servings, about four servings, and it's about three per serving. So I'm going to estimate 12. It's going to be a little bit less because I went over, but it's going to be uh, around 12 uh, grams. That's kind of my idea. Okay, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 7 is 35. 36, 37. 5 times 3 is 15. 16, 17, 18. There we go. Add my zero. Two times five is ten. Two times seven is fourteen. Add one is fifteen. Two times three is six. Plus one is seven. Okay, now I have uh, five, seven, that's thirteen, seven, eight, nine, nine, one, two, three, one, two, three. So, nine point three seven. That's good. That's uh, around twelve. 9.375 grams of fat. Okay, let's go up here. Um, a financial one. Let's see what this one is all about. Pears cost 0.92 per pound and apples 1.10 per pound. Mr. Benelli bought 3.75 pounds of pears and 2.1 pounds of apples. How much did he pay for the pears and apples? So we want to know uh, the total cost. So let's figure out the 92 pounds per, at, per pears. Okay, so pears is 92 cents a pound, and he bought of pears... 3.75 times 92. This will give me the cost of pears. We'll put pears up here. And then apples is going to be, he bought, uh, well, it cost $1.10 per pound. And he bought 2.1 pounds. That'll give me the apples. Okay, let's do pairs first. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Add a 0. 9 plus 5 is 45. 9 plus 7 is 63. 63 plus 4 is 67. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 plus 6 is 33. 0. 0. Add my 1. That's 15. 3 plus 1 is 4. And 3 there. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to take me 4 out. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So the pairs... 3.45 um, that's how much it cost um, these two zeros they can just we don't need those now let's go to apples 1 times 0 is 0 1 times 1 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 add my 0 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 1 is 2 all right 0 plus 0 1 plus 0 1 plus 2 2 1 2 Three. One, two, three. Two dollars and thirty one cents. Now, so I got my pears and my apples. Let's add them up. Let's see what he spent on all of it. Five plus one is six. Four plus three is seven. Three plus two is five. We're adding decimals. They had to be lined up, so they just dropped down. So he spent a total of five dollars and seventy six cents. These last three, I'm just going to give you the answer. Um, so I want you to have tried them on your own, going through all the steps, 
And uh, if you didn't get the correct answer, maybe try again. And if you still don't, then come see me, and I'll help you work through them, okay? So number 10 is 75.2452. Number 11 is 1.0315. And number 12 is 20.48512. All right. You have any questions? Let me know.